Hello and welcome to R&D Africa on AAU TV, the voice of higher education in Africa. In this episode of R&D Africa, the team traveled all the way to Ejusso in the Ashanti region of Ghana to bring you a documentary on an organization that focuses on producing smart agricultural machineries and also with their major focus on producing multi-crop treasure. My name is Mamiu Kwa Otua Kwanyami. Stay with me in this episode as I bring you more on R&D Africa. Many farmers in Africa have once been a victim of post-harvest losses as they experience large tons of wastage after investing so much time and energy in their farms. Till date, these farmers experience the devastating effect of post-harvest losses. As early as the 1900s, some farmers had access to threshing machines, a piece of farm equipment that removes the seeds from the stalks and husk. A thresher seemed to be the perfect solution to the plight of farmers. Unfortunately, most farmers could not afford these treasures as they were not locally made. The multi-crop thresher is uh, an equipment, a farm equipment that assists or mechanically separates the grain from the crop of the major staple grains or cereals grown in Sub-Saharan Africa, or Ghana specifically. So our multi Crop treasure, those are the two in the in the background that you can see over there. Uh, is one machine that you can use to thresh a variety of crops: maize, soybean, rice, sugum, millet, cowpea, or beans. One machine can do that. Beyond this, we also have a multi-grain cleaner. You have situations where people thresh their crops manually by beating with sticks. Uh, it's uh, something, one of the traditional means of threshing crops. So what happens with this is that because they have to beat with sticks, some of the dirt, the grain and the stones get uh, mixed with the grain themselves. So if you have for this product we made specifically for those who buy crops from these farmers and aggregate them. So it's an equipment that you can use to separate the the clean the green more like you are cleaning the green before you back so that um, you are attracting premium prices on the market today sata company limited an organization founded by two graduates of the kwame Nkrumah university of science and technology jeffrey apieje and theodore ohinibuchi have joined the leagues of inventors and innovators producing treasures in ghana we also have uh, made, designed and made uh, grain cleaners. So these grain cleaners are used to, one, reduce the moisture content of harvested grain, like maize mainly, uh, so that you have a longer shelf life for the maize. Then we have also made a convection oven. This one was made for uh, the University of UDS Food Science Department. They call it the Okara dryer. Okara is uh, one of the I'd say the byproducts or the products you get from soya bean processing. When you're making soya milk and uh, they boil or they, they cook it, and then you go and then grind it and extract the, the milk, the substance you have left or that chaff, when you dry it, you get what you call okara. So we made a convection oven for uh, UDS, uh, Food Science Department. It was uh, something that we had been experimenting with them. So these are a number of um, the equipments that we offer here at Saytech Company Limited. Saytech's story began while the two founders were students of KNUST. At the time, the USAID wanted to have locally made soya bean treasures in the country. Jeffrey put up a design for a small treasure. Luckily, it gained some recognition. After some months, Jeffrey's national service took him all the way to the northern region, where he served as a teacher. Having stayed for some time, he witnessed how school children in the north were taken out of class by their parents to go to the farms to assist with farming activities that could easily be done using crop treasures. So he saw firsthand how children were taken from class to go to the farms to go and assist their farmers. Being somebody who came from the south, going there, he saw, well, yeah, this whole uh, this whole situation, if it continues, uh, you are hampering the possibilities that 
children in the north uh, would have. I mean, it's, it's, it's a problem that is quite widespread. So by that time, I was doing my service on campus KNUST. I was a TA, Mechanical Engineering Department. So coincidentally, when I was in final year and, uh, and I was providing computer-aided design services. Through this resolve, the co-founders of Say Tech Company Limited brought together their forces to produce their first multi-core treasure in order to put a stop to this menace. Saytech designs and builds smart agricultural machineries at its production facility at Ejusu Ampame in the Ashanti region of Ghana. The treasure is a post-harvest equipment that enables farmers to reduce the rate of post-harvest losses. Over here at um, our production facility, the, our company structures that we offer three uh, categories of like uh, products or services. So we have um, a business to business B2B sales of agricultural equipment. Then we have a B2B computer aided design services that we offer. Then we have a B2C direct service provision to smallholder farmers. Now, we, our flagship product, what we make here at Saytech mainly, it's a multi-crop treasure. Saytech has so far designed and manufactured over 50 multi-crop treasures to farmers in the country, mainly in the northern region, and have created job avenues for its users. Typically, a complete treasure can be built from start to finish in four weeks. Our multi-crop treasure flagship product comes with either an 18, 20 horsepower or 24 horsepower diesel engines, uh, one cylinder diesel engine uh, that would consume about two gallons of diesel per an eight hour work period. It's a multi-crop treasure that is able to trash for maize about 18 to 25 bags, 100 kg bags in an hour, or uh, that's about 1.8 ton to 2.5 ton for maize. For soybean, we, we do about a, a averaging about three or four bags, three or four bags, depending on how you feed the machine in an hour. For rice, it's similar to soybean. For sogum, also has uh, about six bags per, per hour. So the, the output really depends on one, how you feed, and then the crop or the grain to the chaff ratio of the crop. Those are the factors that influence it. Uh, the machine has, you know, a self, I'll say, powered prime mover, which is the engine on it. So you don't really need any tractor to run it. And it can either be towed by a motor cane or a pickup or a tractor. But a motor cane is what uh, most people predominantly use for towing. This crop treasure has high innovative quality components that addresses the challenges of post-harvest losses and it has the ability to trash a number of crops. The two have engaged Iowa State University, the University of Missouri, among others, for collaborations. We visited the mechanical engineering lab at Iowa State University in Iowa. That's a Greek and a biosystems engineering. It's one of like the best schools in this field in the world. We had a chance to, you know, interact with the um, professors there and they introduced us to some equipment they do there. So we've had a lot of interactions too with the University of Missouri. And uh, one of our advisors is uh, uh, Dr. Kerry Clark, is um, uh, a member of faculty at the, I think, uh, Kafna. KUST has been um, very helpful to us, particularly. Uh, it's been more through the partnership and support we received from a technology consultancy center uh, which is tcc under the college of engineering we've uh, personally uh, you know received some networking and introductions by the provost of college of engineering since we are products of a college of engineering that's where most of the interactions have been we are one of the industrial partners with um, Desert Lion and then Tropping Boss on one Royal Academy of Engineering funded project that's been uh, hosted or uh, run by KNUST that uh, seeks to bridge the gap between what students learn in school and then how they can apply this to industry. 
So all of this represents, you know, some of the main, uh, I would say, frontline benefits or low-hanging fruits that we've received by simply being. Aside the multi-crop treasure, Jeffrey and Theodore have developed a multi-grain cleaner and many others. This device uh, allows you to do is that it's um, coupled with a mobile application that when the machine comes on, wherever it is on the field, the, the GPS tracker in here is able to report to the mobile application on the owner's phone and then tells them, okay, your machine at so and so location has been turned on. Then when the machine goes off, it reports back to the owner that your machine is off and gives an estimate of the period that the machine has been on. This is the basic feature that we offer now. There are a number of processes that we do here in-house. There are some that uh, we outsource, about um, uh, maybe about 60% of the initial machining work, folding work, we outsource people that do, but all the cutting work and all of that we do in-house here. The welding and the fabrication and everything we do in-house. It's uh, quite typical of you know, almost any manufacturing industry. So for for this, uh, anybody or any partner that can help us in terms of uh, scaling up operations where we can be making up to like you know five treasures per per month at our facility here any kind of a support that can help us reach out into other other markets we are open to that any kind of a opportunity that can bring some grants to develop new products in other areas it's a one of the areas that i think that higher education would have a lot of interest in because uh, it's much easier for me higher education to access grants it's a i would say it's more but it's not exactly in their area to develop much new products that may be needed. There are a lot of products that we can introduce, but uh, you need some level of uh, disposable income to one prototype and do research and make some of those things may, you know, lead to a dead end, but uh, it's worth the try. And then, uh, you know, the, the benefit that uh, we also get when people realize that, oh, we are products of KNUST, the same school that they went For innovators, for people who are inventing stuff out there, uh, the thing I'll say is that it's always better to collaborate. One is too small a number to achieve greatness. I think John C. Maxwell said that. And um, you need to find the right kind of people that would help you not have just an innovation, but you have a commercial product that would uh, fuel more innovation later on. This is where we end the episode on Saytex Multi Crop Treasure with amazing and awesome features. Africa and Ghana has a lot to offer when it comes to innovations and invention. So if you are out there and you know of any innovator, any inventor who is doing amazingly good out there, do not hesitate to contact AAU TV and we'll be on your doorstep. Follow AAU TV for more content on all our social media platforms. My name is Mamie Kwa Otwakwa Nyame. This is where we end the episode. <laughs>